it's all about the grass. Everywhere in the basin, you know, Bermuda, fescue, it's all about the grass. We manage grass in the Colorado River Basin, we don't have to have a water supply problem. I, I think our, our first resource is conservation. Being able to manage our demand is the number one way we're going to prevent needing to bring new resources on. Far and away the biggest consumptive use of water in our community is single family residential. My front yard is desert landscaping. Well, years ago the water folks said we will give you a certain amount of money uh, to change. Government was encouraging an approach that would reduce water use. A few years ago it was going pretty strong. Um, we were doing a lot of them. Now what we're finding is is that the Water Authority has um, adjusted the rebate up to three dollars. So we're seeing a lot more of the older homes that have larger uh, areas start, start to do their conversions. Oh, the incentive's very nice. It's uh, three dollars a square foot and it's a lot of foot. <laughs> One thing that the Southern Nevada Water Authority does want is 50% plant coverage. So 50% of the area that we're taking out has to have plant material in it. Um, and each plant will be assigned a different square footage. A larger tree may give you hundreds of square feet, whereas a small bush may only give you seven square feet. We're looking for yellow flowers and, and vines and ground covers. And we got a bunch of green stuff. We got a bunch of flowers. We got beautiful trees. Let me show you where they are. I want a lot of color, mainly just uh, drought-loving plants and, and uh, some bushes. Well, the, the one point I do want to make about turf is it's the non-functional turf, the ornamental turf that we're really after. Uh, I live in Summerlin and I'm angry every day when I drive by traffic circles with spray irrigation in them, or even worse, Summerlin Parkway. I mean, we have. We have grass in the middle of highways. I don't care about soccer fields and schools. I want the grass that only gets walked on when it's being mowed out of the valley. And if we do that, we're not gonna have a, a water supply problem in this community you know, for the foreseeable future. Uh, we have done some incredible things here, and we've done them well. And we can be a template for others. The question will be, how much further can we go in terms of those steps and in terms of our own growth?